today I just wanted to make a quick video on how to connect two graphics together so if you want something like this and you wanted it to be like a cutting board all I did was like you go to Google you right click on an image copy the image like that and then go back to here and paste it which I already got these two so I'm going to delete that out but that's how I got them I'm going to stretch this a bit bigger just so it would be a chopping board size and then I was going to try and make that the handle. So first you want to select it, left click, right click and go to trace image. If you don't want everything in a photo you can drag the box around like this and it'll only give you inside the box. So I'm going to delete the uh, image now and it will leave me with this. And then the same thing with this, left click, right click, trace image, OK. Let's keep the trace and I'm going to delete the photo. OK, with this, if I put it on fill, let me, yeah, let me, I'm going to quickly put this on another layer just for a second. So I'm going to put this on fill, you can see. So that's how it is. And then <clears throat> I was going to say connect the handle. you know I was just doing this for an example but say I wanted to connect the handle you know on here like this <clears throat> first thing I would do is I'm going to put this back on a line so you can see it better S single it out and select this outside line this is it if you if you want to still keep the feel what you see so I'm going to offset this outside line just by a tiny bit and say OK. So now if I did put that on fill, uh, oh, what I've got to put, I'm going to put this on a layer 2 as well. So now if I put the first layer back on fill, you've still got your engraving because I offset it. Now I've got a cut as well. And then I'm just going to flip this around till it's lined up on there. And with this example here, you could actually just click, you know, the in you know the two cut lines because they intersect and just say everything out of the middle, and they would be connected. But sometimes, you know, like say that ain't gonna work. This is a, a way that you can do it no matter what. So what you do is, I'm just gonna turn this black layer off, just that ain't in the way. I'm gonna select this and go to the node editing tool. I'm gonna come to this dot here that's just outside and press the letter B to break it and come to this dot that's just on the outside and press B so now this is broken away this little part so I'm going to delete that and then the same with this note oh, and you see this note ain't got any nodes at the moment if that happens just make sure you got it singled out and then that way they'll be there so same on here, I'm just going to press the letter B. And then I'm going to insert an node here, so I'm going to press the letter I. And then I'm going to press B, so I can cut it there and just get rid of this little part. And now, while you're on the node editing tool, you just want to move these edges together. And you see that reconnected. The same there, so that one reconnected. And then you would basically just do the same here. So, node editing tool, if there's no node there, I mean you can drag one from up there, but it's easier, just put one there and then that way you can break it from there. And break it from there, select this middle part and delete it. And now this one, I'm going to press I and B, and then come down the bottom here. There's no node there, so I'm going to press I and B. And now that should just give me that little section. And then just connect these two. Yeah, a lot of the time you can weld it, but sometimes, you know, like if there's a reason you can't, this way will work every time. Well, I don't know why it did that. But if it does, if something like this happens for some reason, let's put this little handle up this corner. I should be able to just press the letter L and change it back to a line and you can see it's gone back how it is and now it's a little bit square so if you press the letter S you know like it would just smooth it out and if you don't know the shortcuts I've said before but just hover over 
this node editing tool and you can see they all pop up there. So that was all I wanted to show. I'll just turn this layer back on. So now I'll quickly preview this just so you can see. And you can see it would etch, yeah, it would etch the keys and everything. And then afterwards, yeah, come back and draw that line out. Okay, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll put out another video as soon as possible.